Today we'll be walking you through how to install your new GraphTech CE6000. Um, the machine itself will come with a disk, however that disk is a little dated. So what we'll want to do is actually go to their website to download all the current up-to-date drivers and software. The website you're going to want to go to is graphtechamerica.com. And once you're there, you want to click on the Support Downloads tab. I'm sorry, just hover over it. Then go down to Cutting Plotter Support and Downloads and select your model of the cutter, which is going to be the CE6000 series. Go ahead and click on that. And this is where you will find your firmware, drivers and downloads, GraphTech Studio, um, and Cutmaster 3, which is the uh, uh, the plugin, GraphTech Studio is the editing software for the cutter. So the first thing we want to do is download the drivers for the cutter. Um, very, very important that you do not plug in the cutter prior to doing this. Um, you want to install the drivers first and then plug in the cutter after. So this is a 64-bit and 32-bit for Windows 10, 8, 7, Vista, and XP. Um, what we'll do to check out our current version is if you go down to your start um, icon at the bottom left here and go to computer and right click go to properties you'll see that we have a Windows 7 computer with a 64-bit operating system so we are good to go so we'll click on download the plotter driver Go ahead and save it. If you open it and something goes wrong, you'll have to go through this whole process again. So down here it tells me that it's been completed. I'll go ahead and click on open. And what we want to do first is we want to extract all the files. Right now they're locked. So we'll go ahead and extract them. And then you go ahead and click in the OPS folder here. Um, this is for Windows. This is for the Mac operating system. We'll go ahead and click in Windows. And then we're going to click in Windows 64 bit. Um, here's the 32 bit for, for whichever, um, whichever version you have. So Windows 64 bit. Then we're going to click on uh, the GD Setup 64. And yes, we do want to install the GraphTech driver. So once again, it says make sure that the cutter's not connected. Um, it says to a power outlet. It's okay if it's plugged into the power outlet. You just do not want to connect it to your computer. Go ahead and click Next. It's going to copy the driver files. And very important here, we have seen some hiccups in the past. You want to make sure that you're selecting the correct cutter. Uh, in our case, the model is the CE6000. So we'll click Next. We're installing via USB. Click Next. It's going to copy the driver files over. And it asks if we'd like to install the device software. So click install. So uh, as you can see, it says the driver installation completed. Please reboot, reboot your computer. Do you want to restart your computer now? Um, we're going to go ahead and click cancel. I do recommend that you do. However, if, if you don't, um, just make sure that you restart after the cutter is connected. So now that we have the driver installed, what we really want to do now is we want to connect the cutter to the computer. So you can go ahead and turn the cutter on. And then after it's on, go ahead and connect it via USB. So right down here, it says our device is ready to use. So device driver software was installed successfully. So if I go to my Windows bar and go to Devices and Printers. There it is right there, the GraphTech CE6000. That check mark means that it's uh, been installed correctly and you have followed the prompts uh, in the correct order. Thank you for watching Stalls TV. I'm Chad Poole.